Gentlemen, and the one percent of ladies, we've entered Rudy's Fix the Erectile Dysfunction arc. However, suddenly we're getting a new chapter of Am I Gay arc. Rudy's interaction with Fitz the Silent. Yo, he's getting rizzed up. He thinks that this older senpai is being so nice. He's like, oh, oh my god, Fitz cares about me. And then he suddenly realized, wait, Fitz is a guy though. It's gonna be so funny when he realizes that Fitz is actually Sophie and Sophie's a girl. Just like in season one when Rudy figured out in the bath scene, right? Oh, Sophie's a girl? That shit was crazy. You know what's even other th The other thing that's ridiculous is Erina Rizzi showed up out of nowhere just to tell Rudy that, hey, you know, your mom's Zenith is away. You know, Roxy and Paul, they got it though. Don't worry. I thought that was her entire purpose. But now she's just traveling with us, fucking everyone she sees. There was even a mention of a curse. You know how Orsted has a curse and Zanoba also is has a blessing. On, is that a curse? But there's cursed children, there's blessed children. And Erina Rizzi apparently has a curse. And it obviously has to do with, you know, if she probably can't fuck guys, then she dies or something. And I wanted to think, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? I think she actually does have a curse. What is her point? We haven't even seen her fight yet. I hope we get to do so. But bro, she's like what? Old as fuck, joined this academy just to fuck young boys. Erina Rizzi built different. Let's begin today's reaction though. Oh, magic drills? Wait, Zanoba, where you at? <laughs> Yo, you should make a figurine of Edina Dizze, dude. Why, why are you only making guys? Oh, with lunch with Zanoba. Edina Dizze. Oh, she's making a move. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Lady! <laughs> oh my god. More out of... Was she, so, she fucks the student, but then she goes out of town to... Do, oh my god. God, bro, she is hustling hard. She is grinding. The teleportation. That's you, bro. You caused the mana disaster. Maybe not him directly, but I believe he is definitely the integral part. All teleportation is taboo? Why? Oh, he's talking about his dick. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> I'm talking about dick. <laughs> hmm? Oh, hey, Mr. Fitz. Our big bro senpai! Fitz, please take a seat! I warned the seat up for you. Uh, like, physically? Wait, he does get you. Someone I know, right beside. I mean, she can't, I mean, she can't say it, right? But it's right you, bro. It's you, bro. You! I recently, like, you know, last episode, I figured out it's fine now. Well, she got, I mean, she got ported right into the princess, right? And she didn't really have a chance to do any of that. She feels guilty about it. Oh. Yeah, Fizz, what? Oh? Why are you, why are you scratching your ear? What? what? What's up? Of course, Fitz senpai please join us! <laughs> Alright. This is the start of a beautiful ya yaoi relationship, guys. Right here. Mr. Fitz and Rudius. Who do you think is the top or bottom in this situation? I think that Rudy is the bottom, bro. Look at him! <laughs> He's still looking at his head! With the man! No! Am I? No! Am I? <laughs> Dude, this is crazy! This is actually so good! This really is Am I Gay Arc! You guys are joking about it in the comments saying, Yo, I hear this is gonna be Rudy's Am I Gay Arc, but no! We're actually doing it! You wanna come over? You wanna go to Senpai's dorm? <gasps> senpai! Why? Okay, okay. Yeah, wouldn't the, the girls be really upset? Like the gorilla from last episode? No royalty? Man of you. <laughs> I love how whenever Sylphie gets all, you know, all flustered, she starts scratching her ear. Yes, there was another boy who also did incantationless, actually. Could you imagine if you fucking tripped and just like fell in the water here because you took this path instead of the bridge? Rudy. You're him, bro! You are him! Oh, Sophie's having so much fun with this, you know? Just talking about Rudy in front of Rudy without him knowing. Hmm? No? What's going on here? Wait, 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 what? <laughs> what is my heart beat faster when I see him smile? What does your dick say, though? No, what does your dick say, though, bro? It's not about what you feel. <laughs> yes, a man of mystery. 
What do you think, though? Yo, he might help you with the, with your, uh, you know, your erectile dysfunction. He is the cure! Once you realize who it is! Okay, Zanova. Yo, we should... So are you. But we, we should, like, um, make an Erina Rize figuring together. Why is he naked? Yo, why is he naked? Does he make sculptures naked? <laughs> yeah, his sculptures are very, like... What's, what's the word? Like, classical art that you would see back a long time ago, but... He wants to make them degenerate figurines. <laughs> Sounds kind of tuny. He's playing right into it. I love Zanova. Nothing's happened. What's wrong, Zanova? No nothing is happening. Why? Oh, poor guy. He just wanted to have a figurine so that he could do some hot glue. Unfortunately, he's not talented enough. Oh, he has no mana at all. I didn't even remember this from the first season, but he's also too strong to do this. I don't know if he has no mana, but, you, you know, like, he's like super strong, right? Yeah. Poor guy. How is he ever going to make delicate little figurines when he's so strong? He's truly cursed. <laughs> he's so passionate about this, though. Did we make a figurine a selfie? Ooh. I don't know. He just he just does it. <laughs> I bet you could do it too. With more practice. Not ordinary. <laughs> All right, let's just you know. Well, that, well, would Zanoba like that if he uh, like you know made someone else do it? All right, let's just casually visit the slave market. All right, I hope we find a good slave. It sounds kind of fucked up, but you know the world is different here. Date, 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 date with Mr. Fitz. Yeah, you get it. Oh, mm. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, come on, senpai. Big bro, join us on a date. <laughs> Aww. Fitz Zanova Rudius. He is the third prince. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he is royalty. This is kind of fucked up, though, you know? We, we're, we're going shopping for a slave together? I, 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 I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. This feels so fucked up, right? Maybe we can save a slave, right? Like, they're gonna be sold off to someone she- Oh my god. Oh, he hello. Yeah, yo. Go back again? Go back again? Oh my god. Reminds me of July. Why is Sophie's face right at the dick? It's so big! <laughs> okay, Rudy, you got. You. you Eris fucking wrote you once in 11. You think you're a fucking veteran, bro? <laughs> We're gonna get some experience together. Yeah? Oh, Sophie. Oh, that's right! No, Rudy's V card was stolen by that red haired demon! <laughs> Sophie didn't get a chance! Yeah, dwarves are like master craftsmen in these shows, right? A child who doesn't know it. This feels fucking weird. Just like buying a child slave. That's exactly everything we did. So all that early development, you know, that was key in Rudy's development. Yeah. No, really? It's not just fixed amounts at birth? We did just enhance Sophie. Oh, that makes sense. We're looking for specifically dwarves or five-year-olds. Uh, cat girl. Let's get a cat girl. Yes. Cat girl? Cat girl. Six-year-old dwarf girl. I have a feeling she's going to be a lolly. I mean, she already is a lolly, but because she's a, you know, a dwarf, she's going to always be little. Uh-oh. Damn. This is so fucked. 
literally just human trafficking, but that's like the culture here, so I guess it's just normal. It's so fucked, man. Hey, easy, easy. Hey, come on now. Jesus. Heal her. So this is gonna be... Why are we getting the slave again? It's so that we can uh, make her make the figurines for Zanova. <laughs> what are we doing? I mean, if we take her, it'll be a better outcome for her rather than just like starving to death here, I think. Oh, he's speaking her language. You need to make some degenerate anime figurines for Zanova right here. Come on. What? Whoa! You gonna grab something that like, hit her to talk? Bro! Who wouldn't if you're just sold like this? Himself. Himself. A question to ask. I mean, that's kind of mercy, right? If that's what she really wants. At least it could be like a merciful swift death. Would she want to live like that? I don't know. No, 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 Okay, good. Okay, okay. We we uh, buy her to feed her, bro. Bring her back to the dorm. Yeah, baby steps. Baby steps. Aww. You know, I've never really seen dwarf girls in anime isekai or like fantasy genre. Cause all usually all the dwarves are like master craftsmen, but they're all like like rugged, bearded dudes. But to see a dwarf girl, I feel like she's a dwarf because she's gonna be the token lolly. Like, she's gonna forever stay this small size for that. Oh. Don't you dare name her Eris. <laughs> Don't you? No, not Eris. Okay, Zanova, you choose. Hatsune Miku, please. Julius? Okay. Julie, you can call her Julie. You Maybe that was explained in the first season, but goddamn. Juliet. You like it? Yeah, it's a cute name, right? Juliet. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she loves it. Aww. This poor girl, though. Her entire existence now. I mean, obviously, she gets to do some of this stuff with Rudy, too, but like her goal, like the whole point is to. <laughs> Make her build the figurines for Zanova. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Fitz got that Riz. Rudy's like, with the Mando? Me? With the Mando? No way. But what do I feel like? With the Mando? Yeah, Rudy, with the man. It's not about the man. It's the fact that, you know, it's selfie demons. And obviously, there's this deeper connection that they share. Rudy hasn't really figured it out yet, though. I'm sure later the secret will be revealed. And when it does, it's going to be so good. Juliet. Poor girl, it's a world of slaves, right? Like, it's it's ingrained in the culture. It's kind of fucked up, but that's how the world works in back then, right? What are you going to do about it? Best you can do is try to give her a better life by making her make figurines for Zanova. Because we're degenerates. Where are we going with this? I got no idea. But hey, we'll probably figure out more stuff about the teleportations and Sophie and Rudy. Oh, wait till he figures that out, man. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. But until next time, take care.